Aujourd'hui, uh, je veux parler de, uh, so what would you do with all the free time if you actually did retire early? I mean, doesn't it get boring sitting on the beach all day long? Oh boy, talk about first world problems, eh? <laughs> Hey yo, Zenpuck here. Another day, another day not working for anyone but myself. Eh, clearly I'm doing great since I'm obviously not rolling in the dough uh, via these little clips, eh? <laughs> kind of reminds me of my inspiration. Beat the bush, right? Yeah, that dude who's recently talked about whether he should have just stuck it out with his old engineering job instead of doing YouTube full time. It really makes me appreciate the fact that I am totally actually fired. It doesn't depend on the volatility of social media to pay my bills, but hey, today I want to rant about a light topic, and that's one of those things that are the epitome of first world problems, okay? This is where, within the narrow confines of not just retirement, but early retirement, people ask that eternal question of, well, what would you do without a free time if you did have it? I mean, I'm going to ignore the very obvious things, such as spend more time with your family and friends, because, you know, that's the kind of the Tom Brady of retirement answers. Well, we all know celebrities like that dude's clearly lying, okay? If he cared about actually spending time, uh, more time with his family, he would have called it quits years ago, previously, last time, remember? Okay, all jokes aside. I do think it's important to actually have some kind of game plan in place um, for when we all decide to let go of the corporate grind. So I read the answers of the illustrious Facebook fire group question of what do y'all do in your free time? I'm gonna talk about the type of activities that I think is, you know, actually worth one's time. In the long run, of course. After all, what's the point of early retirement uh, but to have fun in the long run? Anyway, if you're intrigued by what I might say, please subscribe, like, and comment, and share all that social media buzzword slash nonsense or whatever, because I am rich enough for me and will be great regardless. Ah, so number one, right? Gotta do some kind of sporting activity. For me, that's pickleball. For my wifey, I think it might be yoga. It doesn't even have to be just one thing, right? I find myself just, you know, walking for fun for long durations. You know what's great about these relatively low intensity sporting ideas? Well, it's hard to get burnt out on them and they can be done pretty much anywhere, right? Geographic, you know, not uh, limited, right? I absolutely do not care that walking is the best exercise according to the news. I do it because it's easy and it's free and it's quite pleasurable, right? I find it incredibly sad that the good old US of A most people would rather drive for five minutes rather than walk for 30 minutes. I get it. If you absolutely need to, uh, you know, get somewhere faster, driving wins. But if we're talking about how to spend free time in, in early retirement here, right? I don't have to be anywhere that quickly anymore. And I, I don't want to live like I'm always being chased by the clock. I always aim to be early no matter where I'm going. So when in doubt, I, I leave even earlier. And guess what? Usually I can get to wherever I'm going by walking. So yeah, walk and pick up some other sport or, or, or what not that you would actually keep up with because you know, don't we all want to live for decades more? Isn't that the whole point of retiring early? We don't want to flame out and become a tub of lard, right? So physical exercise is pretty much a necessity. Gotta have some kind of physical outlet, right? Uh, for number two, it shouldn't be a surprise, we also need some sort of new mental exercise. Now maybe that's picking up a new musical instrument or, you know, getting reacquainted with the instrument that you played as a kid, maybe a new language, same idea uh, as a sport, but you know, for your brain. It doesn't even have to be any specific uh, field. It could be as generic as, you know, reading again. Does anyone remember the last book you've read? Or has it, has it just been me that's been a lazy bum, right? Seriously, I had uh, all I had time for during my super trooper working phase was mostly magazines, right? And while that scratched somewhat of an itch, and I used to really just read magazines while I'm waiting uh, at airports, I don't think it's nearly as efficient uh, in learning uh, as actual books, right? Maybe I'm just a nerd, but actually getting back to reading, whether it's for the sake of learning a language or some other creative endeavor, I mean, it just sounds so leisurely, doesn't it? Right? Isn't that the point of retirement? I mean, do normal people really think retirement just means a time to literally do nothing? Is that how our elders do it? I mean, health permitting, I'm pretty sure actual seniors do things too. And for real senior, the mental activity part is probably as important as the physical ones. After all, no point in being physically fit if your brain's gone, right? And for people who are early retirees like myself, 
hey, I would like to continue to maximize enjoyments for many, many more moons, so gotta load up on the mental stimulation, right? I'm trying to learn French. How about you guys? Ah, now, third point, finally, is simply to give back. No, seriously, I'm not a tree-hugging liberal by any means, uh, but giving back does feel good, right? I think it can even be selfish. I say volunteer, but you can volunteer for, you know, whatever cause that tickles your fancy, right? Isn't that the flexibility, uh, what flexibility and money is supposed to give us at the end of the day to accentuate who we are already, right? This is why I don't think money in itself is good or evil. It's just a tool. When I say, hey, I'm rich enough for me, all I mean is, well, now I can be as myself as I care to be. I don't need to care about public opinion, can just support whatever cause I want, right? And frankly, I volunteer because I know I have been incredibly lucky. Uh, sure, I'd always say I have inherited a great work ethic from my folks, uh, and I'm not really a total dummy, right? But in my life, I've met plenty of capable people, and even people who seem to work harder than me, though rarely smarter working, okay, let's be clear. But I got to my cushy place in life owing also to, well, a whole lot of luck, okay? It was luck that got me to this country, to this level of education, to the career I had, and to the financial cushion I've built, right? Every step of the way, I've had help. And I recognize it, right? So now I have time and flexibility. Shouldn't I pay it forward and give back? I know there's studies uh, that talk about what really makes people happy. And guess what? Giving is always really high on the list. Uh, and I do think that is true. In conclusion, if you're lucky enough to have free time, because you know, life can be a real B-word sometimes and be quite challenging, right, for the vast majority of people. Don't waste it all on social media unless obviously it's watching yours truly. Me, me, me. <laughs> Seriously though, this world is filled with wonders to learn and overcome. I'll never have enough time in my entire lifetime to learn all the things that I have a remote interest in. So what would you guys do if you had all the time in the world, or even just a fraction of it? I'd love to hear about it. After all, I don't presume I know what the best things to do uh, is, right? I just have my opinions. I'm just happy that I've got time to try more things, much more easily than when I was in that corporate grind. And that's just pretty damn sweet, right? Cheers. I'll approach it.